Charleston Harbor, South Carolina, April 12, 1861. At 4.30 in the morning, Confederate cannons fire on Fort Sumter. Three days later, President Abraham Lincoln declares that an insurrection exists and calls for 75,000 volunteers to put down the rebellion. The American Civil War has begun. People on both sides assumed that there would be one great battle that would decide everything, the winner take all. One great battle fought somewhere probably between Richmond and Washington. But that doesn't happen. People actually came out from Washington with picnic baskets and champagne to watch the battle. But this war would be a horrible war, a war that no participant would ever forget. It cost more American lives than all other wars combined. 750,000 people, it is now believed, perished during the war. Civil War was felt everywhere in America because it is that war that defines what type of nation we're going to be. It was not just the future of the United States that was at stake. This was a war over different philosophies of government with the fate of a people caught in the crossfire. And according to ancient astronaut theorists, there may have been even more at stake than we know. New York City, April 19th, 1861. Responding to President Lincoln's call to action, the 7th New York militia travels by steamboat to Annapolis, Maryland. While en route, they witness a very strange occurrence in the sky. While these men and sailors were on board, they saw what was described as the moon suddenly soaring clear into the sky, and around it, clearly defined, uh, three circles of light. Now, of course, we know that it's not possible for the moon to change position in the sky that way. And looking at this sighting as it was reported, this would have to be classified as a UFO. If UFO sightings represent encounters with alien spaceships, then it seems certain that UFOs were watching over America during the Civil War. Is it possible that the men of the 7th New York militia really did have an encounter with some type of alien craft? just days after the start of the Civil War. And if so, is it a sign that extraterrestrials had an interest in this turning point in our history? There's an intriguing pattern that we see within UFO reports, and that's an increase in sightings when wars break out. First World War, Second World War, Vietnam, the Korean War, they all had their UFO incidents. And another example is the American Civil War. It could be that aliens might simply be interested in observing historical events. It's also possible that extraterrestrials might be trying to influence the course of events or simply to warn people in some way. While there were numerous UFO sightings reported during the Civil War, even more common are stories of soldiers encountering strange beings on the battlefield. It happened all the time in the Civil War that soldiers reported seeing ghostly figures or ghosts of famous people. Soldiers reported seeing all kinds of, of strange things when the heat of battle was on. Also reported were bizarre dreams and premonitions some of which proved to be prophetic. One of the most notable was published in a Kansas newspaper on March 27, 1862. According to the account, General George B. McClellan, chief of the Union armies, was visited in his sleep by the ghostly figure of George Washington. 
who warned him that Confederate forces were closing in on the Capitol. The vision reportedly caused McClellan to change his plans and fend off the attack. There are many soldiers and politicians during the Civil War that have premonitions, premonitions of death. Nathaniel Lyons at the Battle of Wilson Creek actually said, today I will die. And he is going to be shot in the chest during the battle trying to rally his men. But what can explain all of these bizarre incidents? Ancient astronaut theorists suggest that the strange dreams and UFO sightings are evidence that extraterrestrials were, in fact, present in America during the Civil War. It would seem that throughout the history of this planet, certain civilizations and nations have been watched very carefully by the extraterrestrials and, and nurtured by them. And in ancient times, this could well have been the Egyptians and the Chinese and the Sumerians. And really, in our own era, it's the United States of America that is, is the country that these extraterrestrials are the most interested in. Could it be that extraterrestrials took an interest in the success of the United States of America? Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, July 2nd, 1863. Two years and three months into the Civil War, 337,000 men lie dead, over 13 times as many casualties as the United States suffered during the Revolutionary War. But after so much bloodshed, neither side has a clear advantage. The majority of the fighting has taken place in the southern states. But Confederate General Robert E. Lee, who is gaining a reputation as being invincible, decides to make an aggressive move and advance into Union territory. Robert E. Lee decides that he will take the war north for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's going to relieve pressure on the farmers in Virginia who are trying to grow crops, feed themselves, feed the army. And second, politically, uh, he knows that there is a lot of pressure on Abraham Lincoln to win this war. Northern voters, northern politicians are angry that this war is carrying on so far. If Lee won here, the door to Washington, and ultimately victory, was open. While the Confederates were massing for attack, Reinforcements from the 20th Maine Volunteer Infantry Regiment were called in, commanded by Colonel Joshua Chamberlain. Chamberlain rushes his troops towards the little round top. He comes to a crossroads, and he said there was an eerie figure in a tri-corner hat pointing the way to the little round top, the right road to take. And he said it looked like George Washington. George Washington? Could this ghostly vision have been merely an illusion? Although the story sounds incredible, Secretary of War Edwin Stanton appointed a member of his staff to speak with a number of the men who experienced this vision. And it is said that he gathered unwavering testimony, claiming that the encounter was real. In the end, the 20th Maine would repel the Confederate attack on Little Round Top and save the day for the Union Army. So you have to ask yourself, did extraterrestrials in some way influence this battle by disguising themselves as a familiar figure like George Washington and then guiding the troops to a certain position where they knew this would turn the tide of the battle? It would seem that something like this happened. Is the story of George Washington appearing to soldiers at Gettysburg the ultimate proof that alien beings really did intervene to influence the outcome of the Civil War? Ancient astronaut theorists say yes, 
and suggest that the United States of America has had a connection with extraterrestrials since its very beginning. We do have clues that Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin and George Washington all believed in extraterrestrial life. Thomas Jefferson gave a famous lecture about the unusual UFO sighting by a person named William Dunbarton in Baton Rouge in 1800. Benjamin Franklin wrote in his Poor Richard's Almanac about life on other worlds and apparently was a believer in that. And George Washington had a very famous angelic vision at Valley Forge. And so it would seem that George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Benjamin Franklin were very much believers in extraterrestrials and life on other planets. Is it possible that extraterrestrials have been guiding the course of America since its very beginning and intervened in the Civil War to ensure that the great experiment would continue? Ancient astronaut theorists suggest further evidence that an otherworldly force was present at this point in history can be found by examining a recurring dream that Abraham Lincoln had of his own death. He sees a body on the catafalque wrapped in mourning clothing. The body is being guarded by Union soldiers. He asks one of the soldiers, who is dead in the White House? And one of the soldiers says, it's the president. He's been killed by an assassin. Lincoln's belief that he would rise to greatness and then die prematurely was something that was of long standing. And it's a testament to his courage that he fulfilled his destiny. He believed that he was uniquely suited to become president, to carry the country through the great crisis of disunion. And he part and parcel with that belief in his destiny to become president was his belief that he would be slain. Abraham Lincoln is said to have had uh, prophetic dreams, visions. If aliens are coming here to visit Earth, certainly it seems reasonable to wonder if they might have tried to influence the course of events through Abraham Lincoln, uh, possibly through his dreams and visions. Could it be that extraterrestrials were the source of this recurring dream and that they were testing Abraham Lincoln to see if he would fulfill his destiny, even knowing that it would lead to an early grave. It was a very hot summer that year. The British forces were able to completely overwhelm the uh, very young United States Army at the time. And they marched into Washington, DC. President Monroe and all of the other politicians had left the Capitol. And at that time, the British forces were finding basically a deserted city. So they began to set fire to Washington, DC, starting with the White House. And they were basically gonna just burn down our nation's capital. The United States of America, then just a few decades old, is on the verge of going down in flames. But then, something strange happens. That summer day was a very hot, sultry day. And at first, they thought this would really help burn down Washington, D.C. There weren't any clouds in the sky. But suddenly, the weather changed very, very drastically. Big storm clouds moved in. It began pouring rain. And then, suddenly, out of nowhere, this tornado formed. And it went straight at the British troops and forced them to retreat. 
And at the same time, the pelting rain put out all of the fires. And Washington, D.C. was saved. History books record this as a stroke of incredible good luck for the Americans. But some ancient alien theorists believe that perhaps this was a UFO encounter, that it was an extraterrestrial intelligence that created that storm and changed the course of that battle and perhaps of American history. Is it possible that the storm that helped the United States win the War of 1812 was actually produced by extraterrestrials? And if so, were they trying to protect the fragile American experiment? It's interesting to speculate that perhaps there was something about America that an extraterrestrial intelligence took interest in, whether it was freedom of religion, new ideas about democracy, about a republic, or something else that drew the attention of aliens and might have made them want to help this country become a success. And I think that that would really be because the United States as, as a country was uh, prophecy to exist in a sense, and the extraterrestrials very much nurtured the, this young United States and watched its growth very carefully. Like a, a parent watching a child growing up and being very protective of it too. And when the extraterrestrials saw this moment where the United States uh, could lose this war and, and be occupied, they decided to step in and change history. Could the mysterious sightings and strange incidents that have been reported throughout our history be evidence of America's extraterrestrial heritage? Since the beginning of recorded history in North America, we've heard of these sightings. And we today, in our modern world, are re-encountering these same creatures. And you have to ask, are they the same beings? Are they the same creatures that have been seen for thousands of years, and now we're being asked to find a place for them in our world? I'm totally convinced that the evidence makes it true, beyond reasonable doubt, that we are being reconnoitered by extraterrestrial civilizations. And the big question is, why is this? My personal view is that there could be teaching us, trying to upgrade us. You know, we're a pretty warlike species. Possibly somebody from out there might want to try and harness and rein in our warlike abilities in the event that one day we head out there as well. Is it possible that aliens have been visiting America and watching over its inhabitants throughout human history? Could there be evidence that is yet to be discovered hidden in caves, on remote cliffs, or even in the Grand Canyon. If there really are extraterrestrials still visiting Earth today, might they be slowly revealing their presence in an attempt to prepare us for their return?